One position we haven't talked too much about, although I think, Kirk, you mentioned it uh, in there. Matt Turner, the goalie, who we know has been dropped by Nottingham Forest, Casey. Now, anybody who's watched this show knows how Hercules Gomez uh, thinks about situations like this, right? Goalie's not playing. Goalkeepers aren't Goalie's even. not playing. Doesn't matter. They're good to go. Uh, obviously, this is significant, Casey. How big a worry is this uh, from a national team perspective? Matt Turner has been dropped at Nottingham Forest. Well, it's obviously it's not ideal. I mean, you, you love the idea that he made the move to go get regular first team football. And then, you know, eight, 10 games into that move, he's no longer getting first team football at a club, you know, significantly, uh, you know, I don't want to say less because Nottingham Forest is, is a really big club, but obviously haven't had the history of Arsenal over the last 20, 30 years. And so, you know, you're looking at that and you're saying, okay, is there a confidence issue? Obviously didn't have anything to do in the first game. And, you know, the first goal I look at and I think, you know, if I, as, if I got beat from that angle, yes, I'd be disappointed. Were there circumstances involved? Good strike. You mentioned the slip, you know, all that. Yes. But this is the one then, you know, you're frustrated, right? You, you can't give that up because then that puts that little bit more pressure on the whole match. Uh, and, and, and it is, it's, it's something that the U.S. is, is going to have to look at. But I think right now, is there anybody that really has any chance of actually pushing Matt if he's playing or not? And that's going to have to develop because when Matt came into the squad, there was no expectation that he was going to be able to push anybody out for that position. So sometimes it's opportunities show themselves and is there somebody there to take it that we don't know of yet? That's the thing, Zeb. That, that, that's what has me worried or would have me worried if I'm a U.S. men's national team fan is who's going to take him, right? Who, who, who's going to take that man or push him? I think we're going through the worst generation of American goalkeepers in our modern history. And why I say that is you look at the list of great goalkeepers of the past and we got one sitting right here in front of us, Casey Keller. And Casey Keller had a fight time with Brad Friedel, with Tony Miola. Jurgen Summer was, was thrown in there. Then it was, you know, Tim Howard. And Tim Howard had Brad Guzan, even though he wouldn't play behind him. But Brad Guzan was a starting goalkeeper in the Premier League. And, and mm -hmm. Nick Ramondo, one of the best goalkeepers that's ever played in the history of Major League Soccer. So you, you go through the list and you're sitting here, where are the others? Where, you know, where's these, uh, Ethan Horvat? You know, where, where, where's Zach Steffen? You know, he's a clear-cut number one, and I'm not trying to say anybody should take it from him, but it shouldn't be that easy. If he has a bad moment, it should be like, hey, what? You know what? A refresher. Go back. Sit down. Let's take a breath. Next one gets their opportunity. Maybe that fuels a fire in him. But I really do think, and not just at the U.S. level, but in CONCACAF today, there, is a, there are a lack of goalkeepers in this region there are a lack of goalkeepers in the states when that used to be the best position mm. Casey what's your explanation what's happened to American goalies wow well, I think what you have to look at more than what's happening to American goalkeepers right now was the anomaly of what happened with American goalkeepers 15 20 years ago uh, you know in that conversation the person that you didn't mention her was Look at a Marcus Hanneman oh, who played 400 Marcus games in England. Hanneman. You're uh, right. He's going to kill know, me. I mean, I mean Marcus, Marcus right now would be, would be starting in the Premier League mm -hmm. and yeah. going, oh, I, w I wish I didn't have, you know, one of his best friends, myself, ahead of him or, you know, or, 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 you know from Brad or Tim or whoever else. And, and, you're, and you're just sitting there just going, you know, wow, that would be a competition that you would love to see. But, yeah, it is. It, it's, 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 it's an interesting scenario and it's a, a position that you know the u.s didn't have to worry about for the longest time in fact it was a, a, p a position that actually sometimes made things more difficult because the difficulty of having to try to keep everybody happy that deserved to play so yeah it's 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 frustrating but look let's but it's it can't be any more frustrating than for matt turner you know to to think that he got to forest he got off to a good start uh, they made the signing, you know, to bring in the Greek goalkeeper as well. Let's not forget Greek owner. Um, and and then when 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 the blip happened, then he lost his spot. So, but Matt, look, Matt's a great kid. Matt's a great guy, and and I wish him the best. And hopefully he can 
you know, very quickly get back in, in, into starting for Nottingham Forest and then, you know, put this game behind him because, look, we've all been there. And the nice part about having a bad game in goal is when you have a bad game and, and it doesn't affect the result. Because this is a result over two games. Not losing 2-1 in this game, it doesn't mean anything. But the fact that then you could just go through, get to the semifinal, and, and the mistakes didn't cost your team. All right, there he is, Casey Keller, a member of four U.S. World Cup teams and our good friend here on Football Americas. Casey, thanks for staying up late with us. Appreciate the time, and we'll see you back here on the show very soon.